Hello students, a very very good evening to all of you. Welcome to my channel. This is a very important class on Georgian poets. Today we will talk about five or six major uh, Georgian poets. But before starting, I want to give you a brief introduction about myself. My name is Prishti Mukherjee. I have qualified NDA UGC NET exam in English literature four times and have also qualified West Bengal State examination. I have three years of teaching experience. Moreover, I have also taught in NPTEL online course from IIT Madras, Sridhar. <clears throat> so that is all about myself. This is the link of my Telegram channel. The link is also given in the description box. So those of you who have not joined yet, please join to get notification of all important classes. And also please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel so that many more new learners can join. These are the timings of your classes, Monday to Thursday at 8.30 p.m. So don't forget to join me live. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notification. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. Today we will talk about some very important Georgian poets. So first of all, what is Georgian poetry? A brief introduction to its features and definitions. So Georgian poetry mainly refers to the poetry of the period from 1910 to 1934. So you can say it is the early modern era. Early modern era when King George V ruled over England. Early modern or late Victorian era. Uh, late Victorian and early. No, it is not late Victorian actually. It is early modern. Okay, early modern era. So, the first volume of Georgian poetry appeared in five volumes between 1912 to 22. And uh, it was published by Harold Monroe and Edward Marsh. So, for your information, you need to remember the name of the two publishers. Harold Monroe and Edward Marsh and the anthology jo hai, first anthology of Georgian poetry. This was volume the wo, uska koi ek single publication year to nahi tha, but it was published uh, in a series of ways. So 1912 to 1922 ke beech mein ye published Brooke, Edmond Blunden, John Freeman, John Drinkwater. Gibson, Ralph Hogson, they are the major Georgian uh, poets who is anthology may contribute here. Okay. So it, it is about the etymological, etymological meaning of Georgian poetry. Okay. Ki Georgian poetry uh, is name se aya from King George V. From King George V. Okay. So, George V ruled over England, obviously, and uh, Georgian poetry uh, usi ke naam se aya hai, King George V ke naam se. Achha. Ab aate hai ki iska features kya hai. So, if we talk about the characteristics of Georgian poetry, then it basically talks about simple and real uh, themes. Okay? So, simplicity and reality, uh, this is the main... Uh, this was the main motto of Georgian poetry. They love natural beauties of English landscapes. Okay? So basically Georgian poets, uh, poetry ka jo theme hai, usme kuch cheeze humko milte hai as a theme. Like childhood, animals, love, leisure, etc. They are the major themes. They are the major themes. Okay? So uh, they are the major themes of uh, Georgian poetry, okay? childhood animals love leisure. So basically their purpose was to uh, generate public interest in poetry and to uplift it from general morbidity. Okay? To uplift it from general morbidity. So public interest in poetry, isko jagane ke liye, they believe that poetry should not concentrate on all the pessimistic topics of life. So, it must have some kind of refreshment, some kind of entertainment. 
तो इसीलिए उन्होंने क्या किया मतलब जॉर्जियन पोइट्स ने क्या किया वो कोशिश किए कि पोएट्री को नेचुरल ब्यूटीज के अंदर ही रखा जाए उसको एक ऐसे थीम के अंदर लाया जाए दैट कैन गिव रिफ्रेशमेंट टू योर माइंड सो दैट इज माई पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट इन पोएट्री दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट एंड टू अपलिफ्ट द पोएट्री फ्रॉम जेनरल मॉर्बिडिटी यू ऑल नो दैट ड्यूरिंग मॉडर्न इरा we generally find uh, the theme of pessimism the theme of war uh, negativity frustration theek hai to in sab se bahar ja ke georgian poetry jo koshish kar rahe ki uh, poetry ko ek alag se disha mein lane ke liye taki usme kuch refreshment kuch entertainment logo ko mil sake they are not at all aware of the industrial society around them so in that sense you may call georgian poets as escapists but it is not in the same sense as we call romantic poets as escapist us sense mein nahi hai but ha in that sense georgian poets are escapists they are the deliberate escapist they have a purpose to uh, uplift the poetry from the morbidity of life from the complexities and pessimism of life and to reflect something that can give your mind a refreshment good evening papri welcome that is the main purpose of uh, georgian poetry ab aate hai kuch important georgian poets mein zyada important nahi hai bas ek do teen poet hi hai jiske bare mein aapko janna hai so first of all walter de la mere remember this name was very popular when we read uh, uh, we read poems uh, written by him during our school days uh, jaise ek poem humko uh, Uh, एक पोएम था वॉल्टर डेला मेयर का द लिसनर ठीक है सो दिस आर द दिस आर द पोएम्स स्पेशली रिटन फॉर चिल्ड्रेन एंड इट वाज ऑफन प्रेस्क्राइब्ड इन स्कूल सिलेबस ड्यूरिंग आवर टाइम ठीक है तो ये इन दैट सेंस एक बहुत ही फेमस नाम है वॉल्टर डेला मेयर 1873 टू 1956 इज हिज टाइमलाइन So first of all, a brief biographical introduction. Walter J. Lamier was born on 25th April in Charlton, Kent, England. He studied at Saint Paul Cathedral School. So he also gave a famous lecture. This lecture ka ye title tha Rupert Brooke and the Intellectual Imagination. Rupert Brooke and the Intellectual Imagination. That was the lecture given by him. And basically, if we look at his poems. then it is based on the themes of uh, phantoms the themes of mystery fairies theek hai to matlab thoda sa gothic touch isme hai obviously but not always talking about ghosts but some kind of suspense uh, mystery uh, dream uh, dreamland kind of feature so all these things which we lo- love to read as child so sare ke sare element iske andar hai so basically dream and nature are the major theme so what are the major works walter de la mere was not only a poet he was also a novelist so just remember the titles of his novels there is no possibility to uh, re, uh, to um, get question uh, from in depth of these novels iska koi chance humko nahi dikh raha hai but titles aa sakta hai henry broken the return memoirs of a midget publication year uh, need not to be remembered then there are some short story collections the riddle and other stories ding dong bell uh, the title obviously indicates that it is written for the child uh, for the children on the age eight tales these are some of the short story collections and if we talk about poetry collections i have already said about the poem listener which is also talking about a secluded landscape where uh, one single traveler uh, has arrived and uh, he is in search of uh, some people but there is no people there is only a lonely hut and the traveler comes and knocks at the door uh, he only questions is there anybody there is there anybody there but there is no answer and uh, the listener the listener can be ghost ठीक है तो उस घर के अंदर क्या है कोई है या नहीं है इसका कोई uh, ये नहीं है बट सम काइंड ऑफ गोस्टली अपियरेंस में भी देयर द ट्रैवलर इज आस्किंग द रिपीटेडली द सेम क्वेश्चन बट ही इज नॉट रिसीविंग एनी आंसर सो दैट इज अबाउट द पोएम लिसनर देयर आर सम अदर पोएम्स इन द कलेक्शन आल्सो देन बेल्स एंड ग्रास सॉन्ग्स ऑफ चाइल्डहुड दीस आर सम ऑफ द पोएट्री कलेक्शंस रिटन बाय वाल्टर डेलामी 
तो देखो इसमें हम समरी दिए हैं द पोएम लिसनर इट इज अ फेमस पोएम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ ट्रेवलर हु हैज स्टॉप्ड बिफोर अ हाउस एंड नॉक एट द डोर नॉक एट द डोर ही एक्सपेक्ट्स समवन टू रिस्पोंड टू हिज कॉल्स बट नोबडी आंसर्स दैट बट ही फील्स दैट देयर इज सम काइंड ऑफ सुपरनेचुरल प्रेजेंस बट ही कैन नॉट आइडेंटिफाई ठीक है द हाउस इज इनहेबिटेड बाय गोस्ट हु इज लिसनिंग टू अ ह्यूमन वॉइस रादर देन गैदर एट द स्टेयर केसेस टू मेरर दैट काइंड ऑफ इंपैक्ट वाज गिवन बाय द पोएट दैट समबॉडी इज लिसनिंग uh gathering at the staircase maybe actually there is no one on the staircase but darkness prevails there so it uh, it it appears to be that someone is sitting there and listening to your voice but uh, it cannot respond because it has no body only the empty room is echoing the traveler's questions is there anybody there it is midnight and the horse of the traveler looks at the sky the traveler feels that he is the only living person inside that deep forest at midnight and finally he leaves the place uh, without receiving any answer so that is about the poem listen it's a very short poem you can also read the text so that is about walter delamere next we will talk about edmond blunden 1896 to 1974 is his time period तो एडमॉन्ड ब्लंडन जिसका पूरा नाम है एडमॉन्ड चार्ल्स ब्लंडन एंड ही इज बेसिकली आल्सो अ वर पोएट ही रोट अबाउट हिज एक्सपीरियंसेस इन फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर ही वाज क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड विद सिगफ्रिड ससून वी विल आल्सो टेक अ सेपरेट क्लास ऑन वर पोएट्स जिसमें हम फिर से बात करेंगे ब्लंडन का ही वाज एजुकेटेड एट क्वींस कॉलेज ऑक्सफोर्ड वर्कड एज प्रोफेसर ऑफ पोएट्री इन ऑक्सफोर्ड दिस इज नॉट सो मच इंपॉर्टेंट Ah, uh, this is an important uh, thing to remember. He was nominated six times for Nobel Prize in Literature. Nominated but not won. So six times, ah, uh, he nominated with him for Nobel Prize. He wrote essays on so many important writers of British literature like Thomas Hardy, Shelley, Charles Lamb, Edward Gibbon, John Taylor. He wrote essays on that. He also wrote a book called "On the Poems of Henry Vaughan." These are the important things to note down. He कौन से writer के ऊपर उन्होंने essay लिखा था? कौन से metaphysical poet के ऊपर एक book है Edmund Blunden का? It is Henry Vaughan, and he is basically known as a pastoral poet, obviously drawing inspiration from nature. इनका भी poetry collection आपको बस याद करना है. Shells by a stream. pastorals wagner and other poems the shepherd choice or chance these are some of the poetry collections of edmund blunden not to be uh, read in detail but some information must be there okay next hum aate hain william henry davies publish uh, sorry timeline is 1871 to 1940 william henry davies William Henry Davies was born on 3rd July 1871 in Newport Monmouth Shire. He was the son of an iron molder. ठीक है? He wrote about nature and the simple lifestyle of the country people, but he does not try to find any spiritual and philosophical meaning in nature like Wordsworth. So his interpretation of nature is different in comparison to Wordsworth. There is no spirituality. but he only celebrates nature and the simple lifestyle of the people of the country people there is no other spiritual significance or uh, any kind of godly uh, theme attached on it. okay so this is about uh, william henry davies and uh, now comes to his poetry collections so first of all he wrote an autobiography remember that the autobiography of a super tramp ठीक है, the autobiography of a super tramp published in 1908 and some of the poetry collections are there, the soul's destroyer and other poems ये शायद बहुत पहले का कोई exam में आया था, net में या set में या gate में हमको नहीं पता, but कभी हम देखे थे ये question, maybe it was in some PGT PGT paper, I can't remember, but ये title हमको पति मतलब सुनी सुनाई लग रहा है, हम पढ़े हैं कहीं एज अ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन कहां पे हम देखे हमको नहीं पता द सोल्स 
Suppose Destrar and other poems, Songs of Joy and others, New Poems, Collected Poems and Love Poems. These are some of the poetry collections. And autobiography is absolutely important. Uh, only the title, obviously. Autobiography of a super trip. This is a Yes, so this is a very important poem. Written by William uh, Henry Davies, that is Leaser. It is his most famous poem inspired by Wordsworth's sonnet, The World is Too Much with Us. And we have also read this poem in our childhood days, in our school life. Opening lines is very famous. What is this life is full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. So it is talking about the importance of our leisure time. We are so busy in our lives that we have no time to stand and stare, which means to think, uh, to uh, at least to uh, wait for us, uh, to wait for some time before taking any decision, but we don't have that time. We don't have any leisure time. We are always running. It very beautifully describes the busy human life. So this is the opening line and pure poem mein wo yahi cheez bata rahe ki what is the importance of leisure if we are so busy in our life we don't have time to enjoy leisure and jab bhi hum matlab leisure time ab bahut hi ek uh, unimportant cheez ban gaye hai life ka ki humko har dam lag raha hai ki bhai waqt nikal ja rahe hai humko kuch karna hai but we are completely forgetting the value of rest the value of leisure we don't have time to keep quiet and think uh, on the same theme, there is another poem written by um, Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda, uh, Keeping Quiet. So, it is talking about a different thing. It is talking about not only enjoying leisure time, but it talks about to keep quiet for a few moments. Keep quiet doesn't mean that keep silent. Keep quiet means that uh, doing nothing and just think. Human beings, humans... Uh, Human beings throughout the world, they are doing so much things. That is why uh, so much complications are there. So, Pablo Neruda says that if we can keep quiet for a few moments, then it will help us to self-introspect. It will help us to stop a, a, a number of wars. It will also help us to protect nature. So, it's a little different, but again, it is trying to talk about uh, rest, uh, refreshment, self-introspection. Analysis, self-analysis, jo laser poem may be hai, but in a very funny way. Laser particularly talks about enjoying laser time, but laser time also gives us the same opportunity to think about our own task. We have no time to stand and stare. This is the most important thing that we are often missing the minute details of nature. Specifically, he is talking about nature. We are missing so many details of nature due to our busy life, which should not be. We must uh, be aware of our surroundings, but we are so busy, uh, we are so engrossed in our own goals and our own interests that we have failed to notice other things. So, Lisa is talking about that. Yes. Um, uh, Indian Kabadi, we have just in uh, class, we have just a notice that net ka answer ki uh, aa gaya and shayad panch tarik tak time hai challenge karne ka. And upka answer ki download kar lena. So, ek bar check kar lena. Official website mein hi link hoga. You have to log in first, I think. Jaise pehle hota tha. Log in karne ke baad, aapko saathi saath aapka question paper. I mean, aap, aapne jo online mein fill kiya hai, that response sheet. Along with that, aapka answer ki download ho jayega. Hum abhi just notice ko dekhe to hum abhi verify nahi kiye. But we telegram, uh, a telegram group mein notice the answer ki gaya, but you can check the official website. Mein. I think it will come because we were listening to the January ke first week mein hi jana answer. So it can come I haven't checked the official website uh, because abhi just 5 minutes ago we were just class of the class. So we telegram mein notice aaya. Hum bas aise dekh ke official website ab tak nahi dekhe hum phir bata rahe ho sakta hai ki ye fake hai but hum is liye bata rahe ki ek bar website mein jao ek bar visit karo dekho wo notice actually mein hai ya nahi jo maine dekhi hai ki 3rd january ko ye publish hua hai matlab aaj ki date mein and up to 5th january you have time to challenge and download your response sheet to ek bar zarur check kar lo official website mein agar hai to ye authentic theek hai 
ओके तो चल टॉकिंग अबाउट द जॉर्जियन पोइट्स नेक्स्ट पोइट जॉन जॉन ड्रिंक वाटर 1882 टू 1937 इज हिज टाइमलाइन so john drinkwater was born on 1st june 1882 at leytonstone theek hai so basically he was remembered as a poetic playwright unke first play jo hai ye bahut hi important hai written on abraham lincoln uska title hi hai abraham lincoln and he was the member of the group dime of poets dime of poets ke upar question banta hai matlab aise question banta hai ki Uh, which of the following poet is not a part of the group time of poets theek hai jaise lake poets hai waise hi ek group hai also wrote some poetry collections so now let's talk about dime of poets and who are the dime of poets so basically dime of is obviously the name of a location it is the name of a village in gloucestershire okay so jaise hum lake poets mein padhe the ki lake district uh, lake district ke reference mein wo group ka naam tha lake poets here also we find the group dime of poets based on the village dime so early 20th century literary group of poets who lived in the village of dime bas unka rehne ki jagah same hai to wahi jagah ke naam se usko dime of poets kaha jata hai jisme sabse important jo member hai wo hai hamare robert frost uske sath lasila saber crombi rupert brooke edward thomas edward gibson john drinkwater All Georgian poets are not part of time of poets, but some poets are part of that. ठीक है? तो लासिला सेबर क्रोमबी की अगर हम बात करें, they uh, sorry, he mainly wrote emblems of love, his most important work. Okay. The sale of Saint Thomas. He also wrote two critical essays, the theory of poetry, the idea of great poetry. इसको जरूर याद रखना, इसपे आपका confusion हो सकता है, because ये similar titles हैं. और सिमिलर और ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर टाइटल से बहुत सारी वर्क्स है कि थियोरीज ऑफ पोएट्री तो ऐसे करके बहुत सारे टाइटल्स है जिसमें लास्ट में पोएट्री है एपोलॉजी फॉर पोएट्री है ना तो इसको इसमें कंफ्यूज मत होना कि लासिला सेबर फ्रॉम भी बहुत ही माइनर राइटर है उसने भी दो क्रिटिकल एसेज लिखे थे द थ्योरी ऑफ पोएट्री द आइडिया ऑफ ग्रेट पोएट्री ओनली हैव टू रिमेंबर द टाइटल अच्छा नेक्स्ट हम आते हैं अच्छा आंसर की हैज बीन रिलीज बट इट इज नॉट ओपन हाँ हो सकता है कि अभी हमको जो नोटिस मिला था शायद अभी अभी जारी किया है शाम को तो आप थोड़ी देर बाद चेक करना इट विल डेफिनेटली ओपन है ये तो होता ही है इन क्रिएटिव वेबसाइट में जब भी आंसर की आते हैं जब भी एडमिट आते हैं डाउनलोड नहीं होता बहुत प्रॉब्लम होता है तो हो जाएगा कोई बात नहीं अगर ये रिलीज हो गया है तो जरूर डाउनलोड हो जाएगा तो आप अपना अपना स्कोर चेक करना जरूर बताना कि किसका कितना आ रहा है ठीक है Now coming back to the next uh, poet James Elroy Flecker J E Flecker 1884 to 1915 is his timeline James Elroy Flecker was born on 5th November in London he worked in the consular service in the middle east theek hai wo middle east mein kaam karte the and that is why unko exoticism ke bare mein pata tha uh, acha exotic lands ke ha आरपीएससी का एग्जाम हाँ आरपीएससी का एग्जाम हम देख रहे थे शायद सत्रह या अठारह जनवरी को है मतलब जनवरी में ही है तो हो सकता है कि एडमिट का अच्छा जो जो आरपीएससी का एग्जाम दे रही हो राजस्थान पीएससी का जब एग्जाम हो जाएगा तो हमको क्वेश्चन पेपर थोड़ा भेज दे हम देखेंगे कि कैसा आया था हम तो खुद नहीं दे रहे एग्जाम बट आई वॉन्ट टू सी द क्वेश्चन पेपर अगर ये ऑफलाइन पेपर है तो हमको पेपर भेज दे so gave him a knowledge of the exotic lands he wrote poems like the golden journey the golden journey to samarkand ye bhi ek bar aaya tha shayad ki ye work kiska hai the golden journey to samarkand the war song of samarkand ye dono hi bahut important hai as uh, related to the title it has beautiful and dazzling rhyme scheme here theek hai So this is about uh, James Elroy Flecker. इसका ये दोनों ही works important है. बस आपको titles याद रखना है. So this is about Georgian poets. It is not a very fast topic. There are only some three to four or five poets. You just remember the name of the poet. Uh, if he is member uh, of any another group, जैसे वो dime of poets and all the things हम अभी बताएं. उसके साथ उसके कुछ इम्पोर्टेंट पोएट्री कलेक्शंस कुछ ड्रामा का जस्ट टाइटल इसके इनडेप्थ से क्वेश्चन आपका नहीं आएगा 
ओनली टाइटल यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर जैसे ये एक बहुत ही फेमस टाइटल है गोल्ड ट्रेन जर्नी टू समरखंड एंड द वर्ड सॉन्ग ऑफ दी बस आइडेंटिफिकेशन में मैचिंग में आपको कहीं भी ये मिल सकता है ओके ओके चल तो दिस इज अबाउट जॉर्जियन पोइट्स आई होप द टॉपिक इज क्लियर टू यू तो दैट इज द एंड ऑफ टूडेज क्लास थैंक यू ऑल फॉर ज्वाइनिंग तो कल हम फिर से हम जो सेशन स्टार्ट किए थे फॉर बिहार स्टेट पीजीटी इंग्लिश क्लासेस उसमें हम डॉक्टर फॉस्टर्स पढ़े थे तो कुछ और नया टॉपिक हम कल की क्लास में पढ़ेंगे रिलेटेड टू द सिलेबस ओके सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू ज्वाइन मी लाइफ प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन these are the timings of your classes so we will meet again tomorrow at 8:30 pm thank you very much for joining bye bye and good night